Good morning all. In the previous four modules, we have been discussing geotechnical engineering too, concentrated on foundation engineering. Now, we have briefly discussed what the different types of foundations are. We discussed what shallow foundations are, how to estimate the ultimate bearing capacity and hence the safe bearing capacity of shallow foundations. We discussed briefly what well foundation is, what combined footings are, etc. Now we will move to the fifth module of Geotechnical Engineering 2 which is concentrated on pile foundations. We will have a discussion on bearing capacity of point bearing and friction piles, bearing capacity of single piles in clay and sand using Indian standard equations, a few numerical problems, then we will have a short discussion on the dynamic formula. Indian standard pile load test using conventional practices, negative skin friction and a few numerical problems based on that, group action, group efficiency, capacity of pile groups and a few numerical problems. Now to start with what are piles? Now piles as you can see in this figure are nothing but slender structural elements. These are foundations of course but they are deep foundations. Now when you talk about deep foundations, well foundation is an option and pile foundation is another option. Pile foundation is very common in practice and it's a versatile solution for a wide stretch of problems that you encounter in soil mechanics. Now pile foundations, like I said, are nothing but slender structural elements. They are slender because the L by D ratio, what we call as aspect ratio, length by diameter or length by breadth is great, is great, greater than 10, 20, etc. Uh, the typical dimension for you to get a sense is let's say you have a pile of 80 centimeter diameter and 30 meter long. So 30 meter is the length, diameter is 0 0.8 meter or 80 centimeter. So that's a slender one which takes the load from the superstructure into the soil. Now we resort to pile foundations when the soil is weak or when the plan of the superstructure is irregular. Lateral loads exist when there's the uplift forces or tensile forces. When you are forced to build your structure on an expansive soil, for instance a black cotton soil that's common in the Deccan Plateau, these are expansive soils. So when you are forced to have your construction carried out in expansive soils, pile foundation is an option. Ex uplift forces, for, ex for example, when, when, when you have an electric tower constructed in a paddy field, you are left with usually one option of pile foundations because the tower is under a uh, predominant force of uplift. Lateral loads, like I said, when you have uh, when you have a building acted upon by wind force, or when the beam column structure is such a way, in such a way that there is predominant lateral force, the foundations can be given as pile foundations. Or you can resort to a pile foundation when the superstructure's plan is irregular, or when the soil is weak. Now, the first point, when the soil is weak, is a usual trend where we resort to pile foundations. Now the types of pile foundations, uh, you you, uh, you, uh, you can divide the classification based on materials used, method of installations, etc, etc. Based on materials used, the piles can be steel pile, it can be concrete pile, it can be timber pile, or it can be composite pile. Now all these are quite intuitive and self-explanatory. Steel pile means that you have an eye section or a round steel pipe. Any material, any pile foundation that's made up of a material of steel is a steel pile. Concrete pile is the one that is usually in practice in Kerala. Now, even in concrete pile, they can be cast in situ pile or board cast piles and pre cast piles, etc. We'll have a discussion on that. But still, concrete pile is a classification based on a material. Timber pile, though it's not in wide practice nowadays, it used to be an option as a foundation for low, uh, uh, low building structures which are of uh, uh, lightweight. Now, timber piles were in practice earlier, but 
Now it's not really quite good practice. Composite pile is quite simple. When you have two materials, like say concrete and steel, it's a composite pile. Some concrete piles will have a shoe, a metal shoe at the bottom and that is a composite pile. Now based on the installation, it can be a driven pile, it can be a cast in situ pile, it can be a screw pile, it can be a jacked pile, etc. Again, these are all self-explanatory. Driven pile means that you are driving the pile like you are driving a nail using a hammer with a dynamic force. So that's a driven pile. Cast in situ pile means cast at the site. You are taking out soil and replacing the cavity thus formed with concrete. So that is cast in situ. You are casting that pile at the site. Screw pile means it's quite similar to screwing something onto a wooden board. Now screw piles or helical piles as they are called in the western countries looks like a screw, it looks like an auger. So you can actually screw it down into the soil. Jacked piles means instead of driving it down, you're jacking it down. You're applying a static force and jacking the pile, the precast pile of course, into the soil. The base of the use it can be a load-bearing pile, it can be compaction pile, it can be tension pile, it can be sheet pile, or it can be fender pile. The load-bearing piles would be the one that you are all familiar with. It takes the load from the superstructure and transfers to the soil. So that's a load-bearing pile. Compaction pile means that, let's take an example, where you have sandy deposit which is loose in state and your intention is ground improvement. You need to improve the ground. You need to compact the ground. One option is to dynamically compact by rollers or, or hammers, etc. Now, pile foundation is one option. Compaction pile. What you do is, in a sequential manner, you install piles into this loose sand stratum by which you're displacing the soil and you're compacting it. So that's a compaction pile option. Tension pile means that the pile itself is designed to take uplift force, tensile force. Sheet pile is, is the one that you use for excavations usually, though it has got other practices, it is usually used for excavations. Sheet piles, uh, you can imagine those as a big, uh, let's say, aluminum sheets. Uh, if you are curious to know about that, you can just Google sheet piles and you'll get figures. I'm sorry, I don't have figures in this particular slide because this is just a brief explanation on the types of piles. So sheet piles nonetheless are nothing but uh, piles which looks like sheet. Now, the usual purpose of it is to have excavations done. Uh, when you have to have soil excavated for some construction, you drive or jack the sheet pile down into the soil and from one side of that sheet pile, you excavate the soil. So fundamentally, sheet piles act as a retaining wall system. Fender piles are the ones that take impact loads in the boat jetties or, or, or wharves, etc. You design the fender piles. They take lateral loads under impulse force. Now, based on soil displacement, you can have displacement pile and replacement pile. Displacement pile means that for example, driven pile and jack piles are displacement piles. You are displacing the soil. You already have ground into which or onto which you are driving or jacking the pile down. You are not taking the soil out. Instead, you are driving the pile into the soil system. So you fundamentally, you are displacing the soil. So that's a displacement pile. Replacement pile is the one that you see in this figure. You take out the soil and replace the cavity thus formed using concrete. So that's a replacement pile. You are replacing soil with concrete. Of course, there can be other classifications, but based on your syllabus, these are briefly the classifications of pile. Now, the choice of the pile, which among this to go for, depends on the designer, depends on the site condition, depends on the applications, etc. We'll have the discussion on the load transfer mechanism of pile in the next video.